the public service has been a lifetime mission, I would say. My late mother used to say, the country is not yet finished being built. She, in fact, encouraged me to join the government service. I was born in Tel Aviv in 1947. My late mother came to the country at the age of 18, 1922. And my late father came in 1943, throughout World War II, he lost his family, most of it in the Holocaust. I think I'm now maybe the only living person in Israel that participated in all negotiations with all our five neighbors, that is with Egypt, with Lebanon. We had an agreement which didn't succeed, with Jordan, with the Palestinians before Oslo, and with Syria. One amazing moment was to be at the airport when President Sadat landed here in November 77, just four years after the Yom Kippur War. The idea that the President of Egypt would land here and declare we wish to make peace, seeing that plane landing, that were the wings of history to get extent. One of my first academic articles was on Ben-Gurion, Ben-Gurion, the Arab question. I published it in the 70s. It was the Negev University at the time, and after Ben-Gurion died, it was the idea of naming it after him because he, as you know, moved to the Negev to a kibbutz, De Boker, where some of the university facilities are also located. There was a negotiation going on between Ben-Gurion's estate and the university, and I was asked as a lawyer in the Ministry of Defense to help negotiating that with the university. And that was a, really a, a nice experience in the mid-70s somewhere. And my daughter graduated from uh, Bangor University. I was very moved when I got the phone call from the university president, Professor Chaimovich, suggesting this uh, honor, and uh, I'm grateful.